Mr. Schreiber, a huge event is going to take place in Austria only a couple of months away. Uh, I guess you're already excited. Yeah, it's, tr it's fantastic. We're seeing terrific preparations here. The, uh, the volunteer spirit is strong in Austria. The commitment to including people with intellectual differences is I'm seeing all over the country. And uh, we're very hopeful that the Games will be a huge success. And? not only a huge success, but they're going to be really huge. What hardly anybody recognizes right now, it's going to be a really, really huge event. Over 100 countries will be here, over 2,500 athletes from over 100 nations coming to Austria to show what they can do on skates and on skis and on snowshoes, uh, really showing the world that there is no limits to the gifts of the human spirit, no, lifts, no limits to the gifts of the human capacity to make a difference in the world. So we're doing sports. It'll be fantastic. The stories will be amazing. The performances will be terrific. Uh, but we're also inviting the world to see the goodness and the capacity of human uh, qualities across the spectrum. Intellectual disability is often seen as a condition that says that you can't. We're here to use sports to show the world that everyone can. The role of Austria in this yeah. huge game, what is it? I mean, Austria is, uh, is the home to Special Olympics the, these days. Uh, over the last 25 years, Austria has emerged as a leading nation in the world in inclusion. Uh, uh, in the inclusion of people with intellectual differences. Austria has done this in education, in sport, in employment, community living, in families. Uh, so we are here in part because the Austrian people have opened their hearts to the idea that people with and without intellectual disabilities can play together and live together. We call it play unified, live unified. So why do people have to come and uh, look at the games, watch the games, watch the athletes? Well, because they're going to see the most inspiring athletes in the world. Uh, if you watch the Olympics or FIFA, if you watch uh, great championships, you'll see people whose bodies are strong, you'll see people who have trained a long time. Come to Special Olympics, you will see the best of the human spirit. You will see people who have trained, people who have given themselves to sport, but you will also see people whose stories will remind you that you have no obstacles in your life that there's nothing you can't overcome. If you want to bring your children that message, that they can persevere through anything, if you want to remind them to be happy and joyful in life, come to the Special Olympics World Winter Games and you will see uh, the best and most inspiring of human stories. What's the reason uh, that you're here today? Uh, I'm here today to inspire and I hope and get engage young people in their health professions in ensuring that people with intellectual disabilities have access to equal quality health. We still have obstacles. Still people with intellectual disabilities are denied access too frequently to health care. Still too frequently they're unemployed. Still too frequently they're alone in school. Still too frequently the sports clubs aren't ready and open. I'm here today to ask young people who are committing themselves to careers in health to make sure that they have health justice in their practice. Open your practices to all people, including people with intellectual challenges. They may present some unique health challenges, but give them the care they deserve so that we can have a more just and more equitable Austria. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks a lot. <laughs>